everyone. So in this video, we will see what is mediator in Oracle Swashoot. So first of all, the mediator is a one kind of component which uh, Oracle Swashoot provide. Uh, majorly, we can do this four main functionality using mediator. So first is a routing. So we can uh, let mediator route incoming payload to the external system based on some routing rules. Uh, and second one is validate. So if we want to uh, validate some, some schemas uh, based on some payload which we provide, then definitely that can also be done using mediator. Third is filter. So if we want to add some filtering logic on the payload, then also we can do that with the help of mediator. And also one thing is transform. So we can also do some accessibility transformation while using mediator. So these four are the main important key points um, of using mediator and if you want to know like when to use people and when to use mediator then I can surely say that if you have some business logic like large business logics then you can go for people because it provides much uh, functionalities and if you have some small logics to write then you can go for mediator okay so I hope you understood the key difference between people and mediator so now we'll create a simple uh, project uh, while using mediator okay so let's get started so I'll go in my Z developer and uh, I will create one mid, uh, one project so a project okay so let's say so a project okay and now I'll give the name as mediator project okay and uh, click on next and uh, as of now we will just say finish okay so now as you can see we have given, given some wrong name here so don't worry i think that will, that will not affect anything right now we will create one schema in this folder so i'll say click on uh, right click on that then new then let's say xsd okay xml xml schema so you just can say X schema okay so xml schema is here now let's give some name so i'm just giving test dot xsd so as you can see our schema got created now let's say uh, we'll add some input and output uh, to the schema okay so now i'll drag and drop some elements so this will be our input and this will be our output okay uh, let's say out, also drag one output element here let's say output and uh, let's also bring some sequence here and then one element okay so now this is fine now uh, as input we'll say uh, name okay and as an output we will say uh, message okay so this is fine I guess now we will uh, give some uh, data type as well okay so now uh, set type and then say string and also similarly for this set type string okay now it is fine I'll control s save uh, our schema first okay so now let's go back into our project and now here we will add one mediator okay so click on mediator and I'm giving mediator test mediator let's say test mediator and then select synchronous interface and uh, in an input just pass the schema input element so that is input and also as an output select output okay okay fine so now as you can see our mediator got created now click on that mediator okay so now we will uh, add one assign activity here so I'll just uh, 
reply whatever user is crossing so i'll click on echo reply okay and uh, now you need to click on this as you can see we have some transform uh, transformation part here we have some uh, we can do anything like if we want to transform our input message then also we can do here i'll just uh, assign i'll just click on this assign and uh, now i'll uh, expand this out and uh, this now i'll click on this message okay so now now we will just uh, uh, give the echo reply so let's say i just wanted to uh, concate so i'll just say pass concate and then uh, now in input will give some uh, hello string and i'll just uh, assign the name so that will give us something like if i am passing hello then result will be hello sorry if i am passing raj then result will be hello raj okay so this is the simple operation we are performing here now just click on ok and save okay now save your uh, mediator plan and now what we'll do only thing is required is deployment and testing of our project so i'll just de deploy this into my local server okay so let's click on this uh, okay so now let's right click on this deploy and mediated project click on next then next and i'll deploy this in a integrated server okay so now i'll deploy this on my default folder on our server click on finish and now it is deployed let's wait for some seconds okay so now i'll just go into my oracle enterprise manager and uh, now i'll expand this navigation bar okay so now it is loading okay so now let's click on this soa and soa infra okay so now it is in progress okay so now you need to click on the soa folders and click on this default and click on this deployed composite i think yes as you can see we are having our mediator project uh, there is some uh, spelling mistake in that mediator but i think that is not the case that will not affect anything now this is our uh, project now I'll click on this test button okay so now go below and uh, now click on this request and now just pass some string let's say raj and click on this test web service okay so we are expecting hello raj so as you can see we are getting hello raj as an output so also we can give some space in between uh, here so i think that will be fine right so i hope you understood this uh, 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 component mediator component in oracle soa suit Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next upcoming videos. Bye-bye.